Hi, I'm Nolan from PaintBasket.com. You're watching our series of videos on how to create the perfect painting. The Munsell color system. In the 19th century, Albert Munsell decided he needed a way to scientifically describe colors. So, what he did was he took our knowledge of hue value and chroma like we've discussed in another section of this course and put them all together to form a three-dimensional color wheel. The best way for me to describe this Mansell color system is let me show you what it looks like on, on the screen. The first component is hue. Hue is the base color we see and used to name the color for example red, green or purple. Munsell broke this down into five basic colors, red, yellow, green, blue and purple. He then mixed colors next to each other to form five secondary colors, giving us a ten-step color scale. He then wrapped these colors into a loop to form our hue circle as you can see. The second component of the Munsell system is the value of the color. Or put another way, value is used to describe how light or how dark a color is. The value of a color is also referred to as the tonal value of a color. You can see this as the center pole on the picture. At the two extremes we have got black and white, which he said was impossible to obtain using pigment. So, in fact, the Munsell value system, or scale, from ranges from near white to near black with seven steps in between. The hue or color circle can then step up and down the value pole or scale as we need. The final component of the Munsell color system is the chroma of the color. The chroma of the color can be described as the purity or intensity or strength of the color. This can be seen in the illustration by looking at the bands of green moving inwards towards the center value pole. Munsell found that certain colors are stronger than others, so he broke the chroma scale into 10 steps. Some colors, example red, are strong enough to reach a maximum of chroma 10, while other colors are weaker, so they can only reach a maximum chroma of maybe 4 or 5. You can do a quick experiment to see this difference in strength between different color hues by mixing, say, a green. You will find that blue is much stronger than yellow, so you will need more yellow than blue to mix a mid-green. As the color is mixed with black or white, or as you can see from the green bars moving in towards our center pole, the color weakens, or put another way, becomes more gray. So, as a recap of the chroma component, the stronger the color is, the more steps are possible away from our center pole before we get to the pure color. Then there can be a maximum of 10 steps away from this center pole. If you want a printable version of the Munsell color system like I've shown you here, you can visit our website paintbasket.com forward slash Munsell forward slash. If you've enjoyed this section of the video on how to create the perfect painting, why not head over to our website, painbasket.com, and we'll give you free access to the full two-hour course.